do is I'm going to share the audio as well with you. So again, I'm narrating to the screen recording program because you can't see what I'm doing, but I'm going to click on share screen. I'm going to select the browser where I opened the ISI Collective video lessons page, and I'm going to tick this very important box that says share computer sound. Because if I don't tick this, then my students are not going not gonna to be able to hear me. So important point, I usually agree with my students at the beginning of a course or when we first have our online lesson, when we have our first online lesson, that they should let me know in the chat window if something is up. So for example, if I start playing a video and they can't hear it, I don't want them to sit there and not tell me just when the video is over. I want someone to send a nice message in the chat, like, hey, Miss Cheeky, no audio or something like that. Um, okay, that was a methodological tip. So screen share, I selected the browser, share computer sound, and I'm gonna click on share. And now you should be looking at um, this screenshot from a video called The Biscuit Thief. Again, can you give me a big nod if you can see that? Okay. Um, so I'm pretty sure you're still, uh, you can still see my screen. Actually, no, you can't see my screen anymore. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna share my screen again. I'm gonna click on, it's, I think it's, you know, my policy is always like, it's not embarrassing to ask, you know, so I don't have a problem with asking, can you see my screen? Rather than assuming that everybody can see my screen when they can't. So I selected the browser again with sharing and I'm sharing the computer sound. And so play modes, whenever I watch, not whenever, but very often when I watch um, an interactive video quiz with a group of students, I go for casino mode and you'll soon see why if you're not familiar with it yet. So we're gonna start watching the movie and I'll demonstrate how you can answer the questions if you're playing this video quiz in a Zoom lesson. Okay, let's go. Okay, um, so I forgot to mention this, but you probably know by now that this quiz, I'm just gonna quick, quickly click here to turn the music off. Um, so this quiz focuses on the past simple, uh, regular and irregular verbs. So could you find the chat box in your Zoom controls and tell me what you think the correct answer is? So you can either see chat in the controls or you can see something that says more, then click on that, go to chat, and send a message to everyone with the word that you think should go in the gap. There, <laughs> any people in the waiting room, except for the old lady. So we've got slightly different answers, which is good. Uh, notice that it's there's any, so we can't really say there were no any at this stage. So we're just gonna go with what the majority is saying. We're gonna go with weren't, right? And then I'm gonna click on this and now here's our chance to decide how sure we are our total capital at the moment is five dollars so can you show me on your hands how much we should bet five dollars is a maximum one dollar is the minimum one two three how sure are you hmm i mean just check i'm just gonna scroll through everyone okay all right so i'm gonna go with a four because i'm a i i'm i'm not really an all-in person okay so we're gonna bet and bingo Ooh, nice. Okay, so this is a different task. It's not a gap fill. This is a put the words in the correct order. I'm going to give you about 30 seconds to look at all the words and formulate the sentence in your head. And then I'm going to count to three and I want everybody to say the sentence together. So figure the sentence out. If you've got it, then look really happy and satisfied. If you're still working, then have a concentrated look on your face. I'm checking very carefully. Okay, most people are looking satisfied. Okay, all right, I'm gonna to count to three. Give me the sentence. It's not gonna be embarrassing if everyone is saying it and if everyone is saying it really loud, okay? One, two, three. 
Good, good, really good. I heard the vending machine was almost empty. Hello, young person in the background. Okay, how sure are you? Um, can you show me on your hand? Our total is now nine, so you can still show it on your hands if you're using two hands. Okay, people are going for five. No one is going for nine. Oops, someone is going for nine. All in, okay. Almost all in. Let's go with that. Ooh. Okay, now a different technique. I'm going to put in an answer that I think is correct, and I want you to give me feedback. You're my students. Is this the right answer? Yes or no? Why not? Virginia, why not? It's a new regular fact. Oh, I forgot about that. Okay, so Hannah, what should I put here? The old lady put. Oh, like this? Uh, Eva, do you think that's correct now? No, it's not. There is double T, it should be one T. Oh, Peter, do you think that's correct? Yes, it is. No, we should go for that. Okay, all right. That's what we're going to go for. Okay, I, I'm, getting, I'm getting the vibe for this group that it's like almost all in. So we're going to go with that. Okay, um, so with this one, I want to focus on pronunciation. So I'm going to ask you to tell me the correct version of this uh, verb. And can you focus on the pronunciation? I'm pretending you're students. So remember we discussed that the past is sometimes pronounced as a D, sometimes as T, and sometimes as id. So think about which one is this after kick. And then I'm going to count to three and tell me the past version for kick. Okay, so think carefully. And now one, two, three. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, all right. Okay. So much money. Okay. So we've got another jumble sentence, and now we're going to try something very exciting. So I'm going to give you control over my screen, right? So uh, I'm narrating what I'm doing. I clicked on remote control, and I can give the mouse keyboard control. I can choose the user, here. and I'm going to give the control to Gabby. Gabby, can you yeah, try? Yeah, I can see that. They said you can control on a screen. Okay. Yeah. So Burke told you that she is the first word. So can you try and click on the word she? I click. I already done it. Does it work? Yeah. Uh, there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Virginia, what do you think the second word might be? Virginia, you said. Uh, Virginia. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Ag Agnieszka? Okay, I want it. I'm sorry. What have I done? Uh huh. Delphine? Okay. Yeah, her. And Maria, what do you think the last word might be? <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, okay, I'm going to take back control um, if I can because my mouse is being controlled by Gabby. Thank you, Gabby. Okay, okay I'm going to do the batting and there we are. Good teamwork, everybody. Okay. <gasps> Woohoo! Okay, and so this is where we're going to stop, um, not because this is so hard that we couldn't crack it, but because I really want to encourage you to go to the website and uh, and uh, watch this quiz. So I just wanted to recap on the different functions that I did there. So one thing we did is when I was uh, soliciting answers is I encourage you to type your answers in the chat box. Another thing we did is that I asked you to look at the sentence and rehearse it in your head and then say it on the count of one, two, three. It's kind of like a drill. 
Um, another thing I did is I put in an incorrect answer, put it, and then I invited you to correct me and tell me why it's wrong. There was a time when I gave you control over the mouse and you uh, built the jumbled sentence, but it was really important that the person who was controlling the mouse was just a robot and their opinions didn't matter. So it was still a group consensus. And those were some tips that I showed you. Um, these are some of the ways that I like um, doing an online quiz uh, with my students.